I never click with nobody the way I click with you It was so funny how you're just like me but from a different view I had no money but still wanted the world to give to you Then my heart was like, well buddy, did you know what you're getting into? I said, just leave it to me, stay on my sleeve and agree He said, if you think it's love, we'll just believe Sound travels really well in here. Uh, we're at the Haunted American Conference at the Lincoln Theater where me and Donnie Moore married. I showed you around a little bit before. Uh, get ready. Lots of ghost people here. So, we're gonna have a good night. Maybe. Let's go. Hi. Hello. And all I said was, Kathy, if you're with us now, give me a sign. And just then the soda machine started spewing Diet Coke all over the place. You know, what the heck's that? We always had a private joke between Kathy and I. I would always get a Diet Coke, but it always foamed like crazy. If you wanted the Diet Coke, you had to call an hour ahead. So that they could pour it all into a pitcher and let the foam die down. Now, I see the Diet Coke shoot now, and instead of being afraid, I, I'm thinking, hey, this is kind of cool. But then I thought, okay, it, it turned off. I walked over, the machine was on. Yes, the compressor was on, but the tapper had never moved. It had never come on, had never come off. So I was kind of thinking, well, maybe she is here, or it's just pure coincidence. You know, of one happening. But since that time, on our tours, and she always waits, and I'll stand in different locations to make sure that I'm not being set up by the owners or anything. At certain points on the tour, when I bring up the same part of the story about Kathy, we're enveloped with the same kind of perfume that she used to wear. And it's really cool. Sometimes it follows us around, sometimes it doesn't. But rather than be afraid, I'm thinking of her as a guardian angel there. Because actually, at the end of that investigation, if you guys, uh, I know you can see what a snappy dresser I am, uh, and health nut. Uh, <laughs> if you guys give me keys, you know, I got keys to a lot of the places, and I mean, I'm just super anal about these. I don't leave, every chair's in place, everything's in, you know, in order when I leave. After we did that investigation, I got a call from the owner, uh, from the gal that was helping him, uh, and she said, what the hell did you people do here last night? Uh, what do you mean? Every chair in that entire place, and this place is huge, were, they were everywhere. Chairs that should be in this room were in this room. Chairs were pushed over. It just looked like somebody went absolutely crazy in there. So I went in and calmed her down and even called Greg to say, hey, tell her I don't do this. Well, she was still mad, but she kind of let it go. And what was great is the next three nights in a row, when none of us were there, all hell broke loose. I just walk in, thank you, just tear it up. <laughs> tear it up because it's not me.
guys can't really see me. Well, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna let you guys see me. Maybe. I don't know if you'll be able to see me because it's kind of dark in here. Hold on. showed you some clips from today's little festival. Tomorrow I'm going to show you more, I promise. It was kind of hectic today. And another cool thing that just happened, besides me almost hitting the car, um, so it's 2 in the morning, I'm going home from the ghost conference, of course I'm in the ghost van, and uh, there's a huge, huge uh, safety check with a whole bunch of cops. Um, yeah, needless to say, they see me and started laughing and waved and then took photos. So, thanks. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Anywho, uh, the ghost conference just got over with. Uh, gonna be back there at 8 tomorrow. Maybe 9. Depends on whenever I wake up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some more clips tomorrow. I promise. Uh, didn't know I was gonna do, um, I was gonna help do the overnight ghost hunts and I'd show you some of that footage but uh, it's all completely dark so it's kind of worthless so I'm sorry but I do have some good news I don't know if it's really good news uh, Danielle called me I guess she got another dog yeah that's right tiny has a partner in crime I don't know how well this is gonna work out but I guess we're gonna find out I better get off here before I take off the side of the van. I'll see you guys here in a minute.